Good morning, sixth graders. Happy Monday. Today we are going to start by learning a totally new thing called theme. The theme is a lesson that we learn from a story or a message that the author wants to teach us. So when we try and find the theme, we think, all right, what is the author trying to teach me about life by telling me this story? So how do we find a theme? We analyze how a character responds to conflicts. Write that down. So this is where we tie together what we've learned about how to, one, analyze a character, how we've taken a look at Brian through inner dialogue, repetitions, all these things to learn about a character. And then two, how to identify a conflict, how we look at the different types of things that are problems in a story. When we look at these two things together, we can get to our theme. Because if we see how a character responds to a conflict, that teaches us the lesson or the theme of the story. So to find the theme of this passage, annotate for the conflict and the resolution, or for resolution, like how the character really responds and solves that problem. Diana is friends with Kate, but always says mean things about her behind her back. Diana is such a gossip queen. She faced some trouble one day, however, when she showed up to school one day, she discovered that Kate found out about all the horrible things she had been saying to people. So I'm going to stop right there because I know that this is my conflict. Even though the beginning of it described this mean thing, this is our character Diana's conflict because at the key phrase here is it said she faced some trouble one day. So I knew the conflict was coming. What was the problem she had? It was that she discovered that Kate found out about all those horrible things she'd been saying. Let's keep reading. Diana decided to apologize and never talk smack again. So that right there is our character's response to this conflict. So make sure you annotate this first part, write conflict, and then write either resolution, remember it's how we solve the problem, or Diana or character's response. Because in order to find theme, we have to first look for those two things. So now that I saw my conflict, and now that I know that Diana responded by apologizing and knowing she's never going to talk smack again, I can find the theme. So based off of the conflict and, oh, sorry, this is wrong, and Diana's response to that conflict, what is the theme of this passage? So right here, I put down, don't talk badly about people behind their back. That's what I learned from looking at the problem and how the character responded to the problem. Another theme that some of you may have thought of at first is to apologize for your mistakes. Because we looked at how Diana responded. She apologized and said she was never going to do that again. So there's never, I mean, sometimes there's just one theme, but a lot of times there's more than one correct answer. So there's a few things we have to be really careful of when we're stating the theme. Make sure that your theme does not have any small details from the text and it can only be lessons that apply to life in general. So for example, if I asked you to think of some themes from Hatchet, it would be wrong. It would be a really bad theme if you said a theme of Hatchet is that Brian taught me not to be afraid if I'm ever on a plane when a pilot crashes. That's really specific. Your theme should be as general as possible. So one that's a little bit better but not that great is if you're on a plane and something bad happens to the pilot, don't panic. So see how it's not as specific. It should never be about characters in the story. But I don't know. I think that when we're talking about theme, we got to think even bigger picture. So a really good theme to then take this, I think, would be don't panic if you're in a scary situation. So do you see how this is a much stronger theme? You always want your themes to sound really big picture in general, not something with small details from the text. The name Brian should never be in a theme when I ask you about theme. Sure, it belongs in objective summaries, but if I ask you to state the theme, only big things about life in general. Let's try a practice one together. Try and find the theme of this passage. You flip the page. So remember, you have to be annotating for the conflict and resolution in order to find it. In his sophomore year of high school, Michael Jordan tried out for the varsity basketball team at Laney High School in Wilmington, North Carolina. But at 5 feet and 11 inches tall, the coach believed that Jordan was too short to play at that level, so Jordan was cut from the team. Jordan didn't let this obstacle defeat him. 
In fact, it pushed him to work even harder. He trained vigorously and grew another four inches the following summer. When he finally made the varsity squad, Jordan averaged 25 points a game and went on to become one of the greatest basketball players in history. So make sure you annotate it for whatever the conflict or the problem was and how he responded. So now what I want you to do, fill out this chart. What's the conflict Michael Jordan faces? You should have annotated it. What type of conflict? So make sure you write person versus self, nature, society, one of the four. How does Michael Jordan respond to this conflict? And then use what you just looked at about conflict and character response to find the theme. I put an example here of a bad theme, which a bad theme would be Michael taught me how to play basketball well or something. That's not a theme. A not that good theme would be if you love basketball, you can be a professional, even if you were cut from your high school basketball team. But I want you to state one that's even bigger picture. So pause the video, find the theme here, and then play again. Okay, welcome back. So you should have now completed this. We're going to talk about it when you get up to the front. I'm now going to read aloud for you problem two. Hakeem was getting home from school later and later every night. His mom continued to warn him about the people up the street and how they often cause trouble late at night. Hakeem and his mom always disagreed. This was a constant problem between them. Hakeem brushed off her comments and continued to stay out late with his friends playing ball. He knew that his mom was just being strict and protective. Once his friends from basketball realized where he lived and the dangerous area he was walking home to, they began to warn him as well. Listen to your mom, man. They nag. You gotta stay safe. He continued to stay out late, disregarding the warning of not only his mom, but his friends. One night on his walk home, he witnessed an act of violence that he wished he didn't see. It was too horrible to describe. He walked the long way home and from that night on, returned safely by 6 o'clock p.m. So same thing, fill in the conflict. What type of conflict is that? How does Hakeem respond? And then state a theme. I put a bad theme here, not that good theme, and then I want you to state your own. When you are done with that, take out your independent reading book.